Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about NPTEL problem solving through programming in C week 12 assignment 12. The due date for this week 12 assignment is 19-10-2022. First bit, which of the following are themselves a collection of different data types? Okay. A structure is a collection of different data types under a single name. Answer is option D. Second bit, which of the following comments about the usage of structure is true? So answer is the scope of the member name is confined to the particular structure within which it is defined. Next third bit. What is actually passed if you pass a structure variable to a function? Whenever we are passing the structure variable to a function, we have to pass the copy of the structure variable. Next, fourth bit. The program will allocate dash bytes to PTR, assume size of int is 4 bytes. So, in this line, malloc function can allocate the memory dynamically. So, each integer pointer occupies 4 bytes. So, 4 into 4 that is equal to 16 bytes. 16 bytes of memory can be allocated to PTR. If that memory is not sufficient, again we are allocating the memory by using realloc function. Now, how much amount of memory that can be reallocated? That is only stored in PTR now. So here 4 into 2 that is equal to 8. 8 bytes of memory can be allocated to PTR. Okay. So answer is 8. Next one. Find the output of the following program. So here uh, capital A is a character array that contains the characters A to H. Initially, uh, pointer variable P contains the address of small a because array name itself contains the address of the first element of the array. So, small a address is stored in pointer variable P. Now, we are incrementing the pointer variable P. Now, the pointer variable P pointing to letter B, address of letter B. Now, pointer P is nothing but, now the letter B, B not equal to E, condition true. Now, what, what value it is printed? B value is printed. After that, pointer variable P pointing to letter C, C not equal to E, condition true. Again, C value is printed. After that, PTR is incremented that being pointed to D. D not equal to E, condition true. Again, D value is printed. Again, pointer variable P is incremented. It is pointed to E. E not equal to E, condition false. Then the control goes to the next statement after the uh, printf statement that is written 0. So, up to that what are the characters are printed? B, C, D characters are printed. Next one, sixth bit. What is the output of the following program? In the main function, so we are creating one structure. The structure name is x, y, z. In that structure, only one data member is there, small a. Its a data type is int. Now, we are creating structure variable obj1 for the structure x, y, z that, that can be initialized with 1. Next, we are creating another variable for the structure x, y, z that is obj2. Now, obj1 can be assigned to obj2. Now, obj2 also contains 1. Now, printf percentage d obj2 dot a. So, that is 1 is printed. First one is printed. Next one, obj2 dot a is equal to 100. Next, printf percentage d obj1 dot a. obj1 dot a contains also 1. So, two ones are printed. 
Next one, printf percentage D obj2 dot a. Now obj2 can be initialized with 100. So this is printed 1 and this is printed 1 and this is printed 100. So 1, 1, 100. Answer is option A. Next one. What is the output of the following C code? Assume that address of x is 2000 and an integer requires 4 bytes of memory. Unsigned int x of 4, 3. This is the two dimensional array. It contains 12 elements 4 into 3. 12 elements that are 1 to 12. So this is row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4. Okay. So now printf percentage u percentage u percentage u x plus 3 comma pointer x plus 3 comma pointer x plus 2 plus uh, 3. So it contains the these three elements contains the address only address. So here row number 2 and column number 3 what is the element is there this is the 2000 address and this is 2004. 2008, 2012, 2016, 2020, 2024, 2028, 2032 and 2036. Okay, so it points to the uh, 10 element, that 10 element address is 2036. So 2036, 2036, 2036 is printed. Address of X is 2000. So one address is 2004, 2008, 2012, 2016, 2020, 2024, 2028, 2032, 2036. Not 10, its value is 9. Address of 9 is 2036. So this printed 2036, this printed 2036. This printed also 2036. Okay, so it prints the element 9 when we are using three pointers. Okay, pointer of, pointer of, pointer of x plus 2 plus 3, its value is 9. Okay, 9 address is 2036, 2036, 2036. Next. 8 bit. What does FP point to in the program? FP is a file pointer that pointing to the first character of a file. Okay, that means this is the answer a structure which contains a character pointer which points to the first character of a file. Here, FP is a character pointer that points to the first character of a file. Next, ninth program, ninth bit, choose a correct statement about C structure. Int main function, in that one, struct hello. So, hello is the structure name that does not contain any uh, data members. Okay. So, answer is, there is no use of defining an empty structure. So empty structure means struct keyword, structure name without any data members. Without any data members, there is no usage of that structure. So answer is there is no use of defining an empty structure. Okay. Next, tenth bit. What is the output of the following C program? Now we are creating a structure called P. It contains two data members, int x and char y. Next, we are creating one pointer, one variable called p1 for the structure p. That structure can be initialized with elements 1, 19, 62, 33, 3, 34. Now, p1 can be initialized to another pointer structure variable ptr1. Int x is equal to size of p1 by 3. Size of P1 means how many number of integers are there? So here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 integers, 6 into 4. Every integer occupies 4 bytes. 6 into 4, 24 bytes. So 
So size of P1 is 24 bytes by 3. 24 by 3 that is 8. 8 can be initialized to variable x. Now if x equal to equal to size of int plus size of char. So size of int means that is 4 bytes plus size of char means uh, 1 bytes. 4 plus 1 that is equal to 5. Here x value is 8. So 8 equal to equal to 5. So that is false condition uh, false the control goes to the else block within the else block uh, printf false is there so false is a uh, printed okay here x value is 8 here this is 4 plus 1 that is 5 8 equal to equal to 5 false so it prints a uh, false value so 10th bit is uh, false answer is option b and the ninth bit is option C, eighth bit is option B, seventh bit is option A, and sixth bit is option A, fifth bit is option B, fourth bit is eight, and the third bit is option A, second bit is option C, first bit is option D. So these are the uh, week twelve assignment twelve answers. Uh, week 12 programming assignments are also uh, there that is already uploaded in my YouTube channel. So week 12 programming assignments. Okay. So if anybody wants, please refer that uh, video in my YouTube channel, Divella Srinivasara. If you like this video, please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel, Divella Srinivasarao. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will try to clarify your doubts. So, in the comment box, I am giving week 12 assignment answers uh, link and week 12 programming assignments link. Okay, please observe carefully. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.